The following video addresses the use of resources in Android, items we place in the res folder. The objectives are listed here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. Okay, so your homework for this particular lecture is to go out to the Android Dev Guide and under Application Resources, read the section on Providing Resources and the section on Accessing Resources. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. This lecture assumes that you have at least worked with the Eclipse and have worked with XML-based layouts in Android. Okay. So you see that in the standard project that we get for free that I've created called Resource Basics Demo, Building Against API 2.3.3, or API 10, Android 2.3.3, we have this resource folder that's created. And inside there we have four drawable folders and a layout folder and a values folder as the folders we get for free. And then we know that inside that layout folder, we have a main.xml, which is an XML file that defines the basic Hello World graphical user interface. And we know that in our source directory, we have a resource basics demo activity that once again, I forgot to rename. I like that to be called main activity. So to do that, I can say refactor, rename, and just give that the name main activity. And that's going to update it everywhere that it needs to be as long as I have update references selected. And so in that main activity, it's referencing r.layout.main. This automatically generated file here, r.java, is completely linked to this res folder. It would almost be nice if this was called res.java or this was called the r folder but these two are completely linked and everything we do inside this directory is automatically generated IDs inside this r.java that's automatically compiled for us and in our resource files and in our java files we use this r.java to access resources inside this res folder and so there are two generally different ways that you access the resources inside this resource folder. One way is to access these resources in Java code, which we're seeing right here, r.layout.main. If we look at that inside the resource folder, inside the r.java, I should say, we can see if you replace these curly braces with a single dot, r.layout.main which has been assigned an integer value for us automatically that resolves to this res layout main. And ex with the exception of things inside this values folder, everything will always be in lowercase. And when you're dealing with the file that you're dealing with, it's everything except the file extension. So again, to make sure this is abundantly clear, r.layout.main we use this constant that's generated r layout main that references this res layout main file and the extension is not included in that automatically generated id so that's the first way that we access resources it's within our java code we may need to access them and we do that using the dot notation r dot layout dot main now the other way that we access resources is resources can access other resources. So for example, we see that in this layout file, when I go to XML view, we can see a illustration of resources referencing other resources because main.xml is a resource in the resource file that we referenced from our activity by going r.layout.main. However, in that resource, main.xml, we can see that it's referencing a at string slash hello. Now, the values folder is the anomaly. Things are accessed slightly differently that are inside the values folder. 
we see inside the values folder there's a strings file. The name of this file is irrelevant. You can have as many files as you want underneath the values folder and the name of the file itself is not used for creating the ID in the r.java file. In other words, this main file was part of the ID, r.layout.main. But in the values folder, the, names of the name of the file is not part of the ID. In other words, if we're inside the strings folder, and it gives you a graphical view for editing those, or we can go to the XML view, we'll see that in this main.xml it referred to a string slash hello. Well that refers to this resource in this file and it's based off the name of the node string hello. So let me go full screen and split view to make sure this is well understood. Inside my main.xml, which is a resource file, I'm referencing this string. And I reference it, a resource referencing another resource, by going at. And in the case of this strings file, or anything inside the values folder, I should say, you use the name of the XML node that is contained within, slash, the ID of the name property, and then that pulls up your resource. So that's why when we run this hello world application, that at string slash hello is replaced with hello world resource basics demo activity. So let's just play with this a little bit. And what I have in mind is building a little uh, lotto uh, application to